What is Goodreads? Well, you wouldn't know it unless you know it, but Goodreads is the world's largest book review website slash social media platform. It actually is. Now, it is built into the Amazon line of devices. If you actually X this out and go to the three dots, you'll see Goodreads is part of the actual drop down. You can't remove it. You can't add it. It's just that. Once you go into it, you get a bunch of stuff. We'll just go through everything because this is why we're here. You can search for individual things on here via the search, via the keyboard. You can refresh and that will constantly update it to the absolute very top. Now you can see I've clicked on some stuff so it might not be totally accurate, but we'll go over it all the same. If you click on something like this of Mice and Men, you can do a few things. You can say, I want to read it, or I have read it, or I can give it stars. So if I have read it or I have not read it, you can actually push this button right here. Currently reading, read, want to read. If I said read, there you go. I've read it. I can say it's five stars. Now that's not accurate because I haven't, so I'm not going to screw up the algorithm and the metrics and whatnot. So I'm just going to say want to read. Now when you go want to read, you can actually go to the store and look at the book because Goodreads and the store kind of work together to the fact where anything on Goodreads for the most part is going to be on the store. There it is. Depending on your market, for example, it's currently unavailable because we're in Japan right now and you can't do certain books in Japan, etc, etc. But it will be in your local area, especially if you're watching this from North America, USA, Canada, etc. So you're able to do that. You're able to download previews, buy the book, do whatever you want. You view it in store and you can read the reviews and you can see it's no joke. Goodreads, they have a lot of reviews. This one book has 43,000 reviews. That's pretty crazy. Now, if we go back, we can look at some other things. We can look at shelves and this will be books that have been shelved on things you've read, want to read, or things that you've actually added to the shelf that you have kind of deemed noteworthy, basically. You can go to recommendations. Now this will be recommendations based off of the things that you have been doing. Now this will be recommendations based off your ratings. For example, it'll tell you rate more books to improve your recommendations. Again, I don't want to mess with this too much because then it's going to start saying that we're interested in this, that, and the other thing, but we'll just do a few, for example. Just as an example, I want to read that one, I want to read that one, and that'll be it. So now, when I start getting recommendations, and if you exit out of Goodreads and go down to here, where it says recommended for you, these will slowly start to change based off of your star ratings, based off of your either read or want to read or currently reading. All of those things are going to be turned into these little pitches to throw more suggestions at you. And it's true, that's really how it works. You can also click on friends. You can add all these people, you can friend and unfriend and you can click there and you can say remove and you can find readers to follow. You can actually follow people as well. So there's a ton of things here and it is kind of one of those not unknown social media platforms, but it's obviously not Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It is a lesser known social media because you can't post just anything. You can't post pictures and all that stuff. You can post things related to books and you can have followers. You can see all these guys have a thousand plus followers, but it doesn't mean much because you can't be monetized on the Kindle and stuff like that. You can't become an influencer. So it's really a little bit, you know, restricted in that regard because it's kind of like there's a time and a place if you want photos and videos and and ads and all that you use those other platforms if you want books and you love books you just use this and you can see this is your home this is our home we have 986 friends we have a bunch of people down here recent updates that we did things that we want to read that thing I just chose shelved books right there and you can add Amazon books as well to Goodreads like this you can go over to the things that I have downloaded that are on the actual Kindle right now and I actually have read and consumed Overwatch. So I will say it is five star and then click done. So that rating is now going to be implemented into the infrastructure and everyone will know that we really liked that graphic novel, etc. Again, you can press the refresh. That'll keep everything up to date regardless of what tab you're on. It'll give you the new suggestions based off of your ratings, based off of your star ratings. And there you go. It just shows that Goody Reader read this. This is an overview of Goodreads, the largest 
ebook review social media site in the world. If you haven't heard of it, I recommend it. If you're watching our channel in this video right now, you're obviously interested in ebooks or e-readers to some degree. So check it out. It's really cool. You don't just have to use it on here. You can use it on your phone. You can use it on your PC, your tablet, anything. You can get Goodreads as an app. You can get Goodreads anywhere. It's a great platform. And no, Goodreads has nothing to do with good e-reader. Completely different things. For GoodyReader.com and an overview of Goodreads, this is Peter.